Today, I'm going to show you how to take layers created in Civil 3D and bring them into Equator to create beautiful figures. Type the command map export to export your layers as a shapefile. Give your file a name. Here I am using the same name as the layer. Once you hit OK, select the object type, in this case, Polygon. Next, use the filter button to select your polygons by layer, and then hit OK. Navigate to the Options tab and make sure Treat Closed Polylines as Polygons is selected. Hit OK to finish the export. Now we'll move into Equator. First, we're going to search for the location that we're looking for today. I've chosen Corktown Commons Park in Toronto, Ontario. So as you can see, it is the first and only option there, so I'm going to click it and it will take me right to the park. So now we have all these layers that have come up, but I'm actually going to import my own shape files that I've created. So all you have to do is drag and drop them into our platform and then select the second UTM option once you're importing it and it will show up. So in the layer manager, you can select the layer you just imported and modify it. So here I want to change the color to make it look a bit nicer and go with the pattern that I'm creating. I'll be adding more layers so I want them to stand out from each other. With each layer, you can change the color, the opacity, the pattern, and the width. So now I'm going to continue importing all of the different shape files I've created for this park and adjust the colors and patterning and then I'll come back once all the shape files have been imported. You can see here that I'm bringing in shape files of the different park areas, pathways and ponds. And now I'm formatting each of the layers based on the colors I have picked to represent each area. So now I'll be adding a mask around the park so that the park itself stands out more and the background is a little bit more muted. So to do this, I'm going to add a markup around the park. So I did this in three parts. I selected the area around the park and then a little bit beyond that so I can get a mask around the size of the background that I want. So here I'm just changing the color of the markup to white and changing the opacity so that you can still see the background, but it is quite muted. I've also gone ahead and added a markup around the park as a dashed border and I've added contours to the park itself. So here you can select from any of the customizable templates we offer. So I wanted to use template 1 for this project with a few alterations. So now I'm just going to play around with the format of this template and until I find something that I like. To add images on this template, just drag and drop them into the grey area outside of the map and then reposition them to your liking. So now I'm just adding the final touches. I'm adding a few images taken of the park as well as the legend to the bottom of the template and a little bit of text about the project and map itself. You can easily drag and drop images into our platform as well as alter any of the elements found on the template. And there we have the final map. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mapping content coming your way.